is up everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well today as you guys can tell by today's video title we are doing a huge O poly haul which I am so excited for the last time I did an O poly haul I think was about a year ago and honestly I was so impressed by the quality I don't really shop on there often but whenever I do it is such a vibe so I recently went ahead and placed a little order on there and actually this bag is quite heavy even though it looks quite small there's a lot in here if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys wanna see what I picked up from Opoly this time, then without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so the very first item is this dress right here, which honestly I fell in love with. It's called the Off the Shoulder Mini Dress in Ivory and it was 42 pounds, which actually isn't that bad for a dress like that. Here it is, this is what it looks like from the front. So as you can see, it definitely has that like asymmetrical kind of vibe, which I love. It's pretty simple from the front, but you can obviously see that it's gonna be quite snatching and shaping, which I'm obsessed with. The whole party definitely happens in the back. I mean, look at this backless detailing with all these little straps going across. I can already tell that's gonna look absolutely amazing on, and these straps are actually adjustable too. I just really love the shape of this dress. I like the fact that it's got a long sleeve, which then kind of like fans out on the bottom. It's a very bodycon slinky dress, and the fabric is such nice quality. Like, look Look how stretchy that is. I feel like with Opoly, you can always expect really good quality. I mean, for 40 pounds, this is really good. So I guess let's pop this first one on and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here is the dress and what it looks like on. By the way, excuse these two bites that I have on my leg. They're actually mosquito bites, which is so annoying and so itchy. But yeah, the dress looks absolutely stunning on. I'm obsessed with the fit of it. I mean, look how snatching it is in the waistline. The fabric is absolutely stunning. It's really nice and soft. It kind of feels like swimming suit kind of fabric, but like a really nice version of that. It's actually double lined, so it's giving me like a really nice smooth finish, even though I am wearing not seamless underwear underneath this. In fact, I'm wearing quite dark underwear, so you might be able to see like a slight kind of tone coming through this dress. So if you were to get this, definitely wear some neutral underwear with this instead. So even though it is a little bit see-through, I am still actually quite impressed that it's not like full-on see-through, if that makes sense. I really, really like the kind of like asymmetrical sleeve detail. I think that looks really nice. And then the sleeves are really cute as well. They're kind of like flared. As for the back, obviously this is where the magic happens. This is what the back looks like. I love it. It is so gorgeous. It's just the perfect amount of backless with just like a really nice dainty strap going through it. So yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with this dress. It's very flattering and very comfortable on. So I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. All right, now moving on to the next outfit, we have a little bit of a change of thing theme now. This is like a put together but slouchy casual kind of outfit. First up, we have this amazing body, which I mean, look at it. It is just stunning. The color is sheer perfection. It's made of a ribbed fabric and it has this really cool like detailing under the bust, which actually looks like there's a wire inside, but there isn't. It's literally just like a thick stitch that makes it look like there's like an under bust wire, which I think looks really cool. It's got adjustable straps and then it does have the claspy crotch thing in the bottom. I feel like this is gonna look really snatching on. So this body was 32 pounds and then I also picked up a pair of trousers in the same color to go with it. I'm not sure if I can pull these trousers off so I'm just gonna say that straight away but here they are. These are the wide leg cargo trousers in beige. These were 44 pounds and honestly these trousers are so on trend lately. I've not jumped on the bandwagon because I just feel like they're a bit too slouchy and too wide for me but I'm happy to give them a go because they looked really amazing on the web Website. They're kind of made of like that parachute sort of fabric. I just feel like I'm not cool enough for these. Do you know what I mean? Like all the Instagram baddies are wearing these and I'm just not on that level. So as you can see, they have a lot of pockets. They have like real pockets right here, which is great. They also have some pockets on the butt. I really love the color of these. I like the fact that they almost match pretty well. I mean, they were paired on the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and say they match pretty well. All right guys, so here is the next outfit and what it looks like on. 
I actually love this. This is definitely a very different outfit for me because I just do not wear cargo trousers like this at all. But now that I have it on, I feel like this outfit just goes so perfectly together. Like the tones are just made for each other. I'm still not 100% sure that I can actually pull these trousers off, but I think they look really cool and I definitely feel like they're good quality. I have seen some really bad cargo pants that literally look like a bin bag. So in comparison to that, I feel like these are pretty good. They actually have quite a lot of like cool pockets on the sides that are just like Velcro kind of attached. And yeah, in general, I think the outfit looks cute. Also, the top is stunning. The body feels really comfortable around the crotch. It's like not giving me a wedgie or anything. And this part here is just so cool. Because it's made of that really thick ribbed material, I actually feel very, very supported even though there is no padding in this. Also, the straps are adjustable and they're very comfortable. So I'm giving this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. Now, the next item I purchased is actually another variation of that same top. This one is actually a short sleeved crop top and this pretty much will go very well with the same cargo pants. It's quite a high neckline and it's made of the exact same colored fabric. It's just that really nice thick ribbed fabric. This little crop top was 30 pounds and I feel like it's a pretty good quality one. So that definitely justifies the price. So let's go try it on with the same cargo pants and see which one we prefer. And now moving on to the second top option. This is what this one looks like. I actually really, really like this. The only thing I would say about it is that from here to here, the fabric doesn't feel very stretchy. So I feel like I'm really having to pull it over my boobs so that this kind of like stitching sits in the right position, which is a little bit frustrating. However, apart from that, the fit is gorgeous. It's very, very snatching. I feel very like secure in this. I also really like the fact that the sleeves are like very adhering to the arms. I think that's definitely kind of unusual in a lot of like short sleeve tops that are for women. And once again, I feel like this top pairs so nicely with the cargo pants. So I'm gonna give this top probably like a seven out of 10. All right, the next item I picked up is actually an ivory long sleeve romper. This one was 46 pounds and I have to say, I'm obsessed. This is the front. It actually has a zipper going all the way down so you can have it zipped up all the way or you can kind of like undo it and show a little bit of chest. The thing is, can we just look at this waistline? Like it's already so snatched and it's not even like on my body. It's literally like the perfect fit. It comes out in the hips, it goes inside in the waist. So this is gonna be so, so comfortable and just so flattering on. I like the fact that it's got a long sleeve which is perfect for right now as it's still spring and still a little bit chilly some days. And once again, the fabric that this is made out of is such a thick, like double lined ribbed fabric. So it's definitely really nice quality. I feel like this is a really nice kind of like base layer for any kind of outfit. You could pop over a blazer and it would look so cute. So let's go try it on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here is the romper and what it looks like on. I'm obsessed with this. Look how freaking snatching it is in the waist. Also the fabric that this is made out of is so nice and thick. It's actually double lined and it's ribbed. So obviously it's going to be flattering and comfortable. The fabric itself is very body adhering, but it's very stretchy. I mean, look how much room I have everywhere. Also, I feel like it looks pretty flattering in the crotch area. It's not too bad. It's not like giving me a camel toe. So I feel like that's good. This is what it looks like from the back as well. So it's very flattering in the back too. I really love the fact that this is a long sleeve. It's still going to keep me semi warm. And I really also like the fact that you can zip this up. So obviously you can have it open like this or you can zip it up like somewhat or you can zip it up all the way. I feel like all the way it doesn't look that good. So personally, I would probably wear it like unzipped somewhere in between like that maybe. All in all though, I feel like this is a very flattering outfit that would work on a lot of people and you could totally dress this up with like a nice pair of heels and a jacket. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. I really like this. Moving on to the next item. This one is another little romper. This is called the Sweetheart Neckline Romper. This was 44 pounds. As you can see, it has like that sweetheart neckline, which I love. And once again, it's got that kind of like underwire stitching, which is so cool. I absolutely love the color this is made out of. It's actually not a ribbed fabric, this one. This is more of like that cotton kind of fabric. It's very, very soft. Once again, as you can see, it's definitely got a lot of shape all on its own. It like really comes out in the hips. So I hope I'm gonna be able to fill that out. On the back, it basically just has a little square neckline, which I think is really cute 
cute and simple. Now, obviously you can wear this romper all on its own, but they did actually have a skirt that was made in the exact same fabric and color, so I had to pick it up. And actually this isn't just a skirt, it's actually a skirt, which we love. So the skirt was 30 pounds, and I feel like it would go really, really cute as an outfit over the top of this. So I guess let's try it both ways. All right, so here is the next romper and what it looks like on. The fit of it is just as good as the previous one. I'm honestly obsessed with it. Even though the fabric on this isn't that super like thick ripped fabric like the previous one, this one is still double lined and I feel like because of that, it's very like smoothing. I would say it's quite forgiving on any lumps and bumps and any like underwear seams or anything like that. So I really, really like the fabric. Honestly, I feel like the neckline is so flattering. I really love this shape. I really want to try it on with the skirt over the top just to see what that would look like. Okay, here is the skirt on. <gasps> Oh my gosh! That has literally just turned it into a dress. I'm in love. Honestly, this is so cute. Are you kidding? It looks like a dress, but then you have the coverage of the shorts underneath. Like, that is genius. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. Should I keep it? I feel like I have to, right? This outfit is giving the ultimate summer holiday vibes, so I am gonna give this a 10 out of 10. You have guessed it. And now the very last item I picked up is actually a corset top, which I feel like Opoly does so well. So here it is. This is what it looks like. It actually looks a little bit scary because it looks like it has barely any area for your boobs to fit in. I mean, usually like this bit would sit under your boobs and then there would be like enough fabric to cover your actual boobs. Whereas this, I think this wire like going across here is supposed to sit across your boobs, which I don't know how that's gonna look, but it looked nice on the model. On the back, it's then just got this lace up kind of string, which I think it looks really cool. The top once again is made of a really nice fabric it feels very like silky and satiny which I love and it doesn't feel like it will be see-through it also has a lot of actual structural boning in here so I feel like that will be very well fitted once again the straps on this are adjustable which is great so let's go pop this on with like a pair of jeans or something and see how it looks and here is the last item which is the corset top I've just paired it with a pair of jeans like I said and I feel like this looks really cute the corset top itself is actually really well made it's got really nice boning inside but it's not like hard to put on also how cute are the straps on this I feel like that detailing that it kind of like splits into two is so cool and unique as for the fit in the breast area I actually don't think it looks that bad I think it looks okay and I still feel pretty supported in this obviously I had my concerns that like this segment here might look weird but actually I think it looks okay so yeah let me know what you guys think of this top even though I really like it I don't really see myself wearing it that often so I'm probably gonna give it like an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, so that was everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these different pieces that I picked up from Opoly. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite. I feel like I can't choose. I literally loved everything and I was so blown away by the quality. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.